Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today, whoo, we've got problems. Oh, come on. Never, never get internet in this camper. If I can't use my phone, I'll just go ahead and watch me some YouTube on the telly. What? Ah, come on. That's the last straw. We're going to have to do something about this. To take care of our issues today, I'm going to be installing this Adelov wireless bridge. I think it's going to do the trick. A wireless bridge lets you extend your Wi-Fi signal from one building to another building far, far distances. And um, just a regular extender was not working in my camper. You know, uh, I would get a bare minimum signal and the extender just didn't have enough to amplify. So a wireless bridge is going to send a high power signal antenna to antenna, allow me to get awesome Wi-Fi in my little tin can camper so I can be watching my YouTube videos. I'm in a camper trailer. You could be in a garage or a barn remote miles away, especially if you got a clear line of sight, no trees. I'm not too far from the camper trailer, from the cabin, which is going to work great for me. Um, so what I got to do is inside the camper, I got to take the cable I've run to the bridge and I have to use the PoE adapter and the cable provided. And you need a, a, a gateway or a, a Wi-Fi extender or router or some, something in, in your remote location to send that Wi-Fi out, right? This is a Linksys Wi-Fi extender. Uh, got it at Best Buy, Walmart, Amazon. You can get them all over the place. And uh, it's just going to provide the Wi-Fi within my camper here. So first thing I got to do is plug in the bridge to the bottom of the PoE adapter. And again, I use the PoE sign. That's going to provide power over Ethernet out to the bridge. There you go. Then I take the cable provided in the Adelov wireless bridge system, plug it into the LAN connection, just like that. And then I plug that in to the bottom of my Wi-Fi adapter, my extender. Okay, super, super simple. Then I'm just going to plug it in to my power supply, plug it in the extender, and then we'll let it power up, let it connect, and uh, see if we've got internet. Of course, we can't have internet in the camper until we get the connections in the log cabin. So let's go do that. We'll do the same thing on the main router supply gateway end. We plug in the PoE, and this is the one that goes out to the gateway. And then here's our uh, supplied extension cable, and that's going to go to the LAN. And then we'll go up to the LAN and plug it in. Take the extension cable from your PoE adapter, plug it in the back of your gateway. This We're using an ATT fixed wireless here. Uh, if you got Starlink or just Comcast, whatever internet you got, you find your wireless gateway or your router and you plug in that extension cable that goes to the PoE adapter, PoE adapter to the bridge. bridge, bridge sends that signal all the way out to the remote location bridge. That bridge sends it over to your PoE adapter through the PoE adapter to your Wi-Fi extender and boom, you've got internet. The outside antennas are easy to install. All you got to do is uh, find something round. They, you can buy some brackets or some tubes, um, but the back of the, uh, the antenna is rounded and you've got the hose clamp. Just get it connected where you want it. Tighten down the hose clamp. Make sure it's aligned line of sight with your other antenna. Again, this is the master, which is at the house where the main router is, incoming uh, internet. Point it towards the slave unit. That's what it's called, a slave unit. And that's going to send Wi-Fi to your remote location. So let me get this tightened down. And now we got to connect the cable. Take off our bottom cover. Get our Ethernet cable. We want to plug it into the PoE port. That's the uh, left one under the bottom. Get that plugged in. It will power up. Put our cover back on. And then you can secure the cable out and away very easy. We do the same thing over here to the receiving end. This is on our camper trailer. Got it lined up with the uh, master antenna. Now one thing you need to make sure you do, once you plug it into the PoE adapter, there's a switch on each one of these that says master slave. The receiving one at your remote location needs to be on S, slave. Over there at the main antenna, M, master. It's that simple. With the easy master slave Wi-Fi setup, that is it, guys. You plug it in, make sure the M is M and the S is S, and all of a sudden all the green lights start flickering. You've got your inside router. You've got it set up the way you normally did before. 
and it is talking. Now we're gonna go over all the specs. So you techies wanna know how far it goes and what the power is and what, what frequency it runs on. We'll go over that in a minute. But first, let's see how fast it is. Okay, I'm gonna use this internet speed test. And now we've got that AT&T fixed wireless and it only guarantees 10 Mbps, sometimes 25 Mbps. So really the most I could ever expect is again, that 10 to 25 average. Sometimes we get higher. Again, that's connected straight to the router from the fixed wireless at the log home. Now I'm in the camper. Let's see what we get in the camper using our Adalov wireless bridge. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. What's it going to be, guys? Are we going to be excited? Are we going to be let down? Please don't let me down. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. Now, that's the highest I can normally get uh, when I'm directly connected to the uh, router straight from the fixed wireless. So right now, this wireless bridge is giving me 100% capability of the... Uh, of the router. Now you can see we're at about 12.6 upload. Again, that is exactly what I get inside the log cabin. So the wireless bridge is giving me everything I can get off this AT&T fixed wireless. When doing the speed test on my phone, I get the same results. Look at that. Now that we know that it works, and it works very well, let's get into the manual and see what all the uh, specs are. I know you techies out there want to know all this stuff, so let's get inside. If you got one of these wireless bridges by Adalov for Christmas, you are one lucky duck. Let's get inside and see what it does. I can't mention this enough. The one key bridge function is amazing. Plug it in and it is ready to go out of the box. Now there is software. You can get deep into the administrative functions, but there's no need. If you're a techie and you wanna do that, you can go right ahead. That's not gonna be covered on this video. But this is 3.1 miles line of sight extension on your Wi-Fi, guys. 3.1 miles and that's under ideal conditions. Uh, if you've got some instructions, it's going to slow that down a little bit. And it is a 100, 1000 Mbps system, 5.8 gigahertz, 3.1 miles. Now, if we look on the bottom right of your screen, we're going to see what we've got actually on the unit. You've got an M and an S switch. That's that master slave I was telling you about. Flip it over to the left, that'd be master. Flip it over to the right, that'd be slave. Master is the one at your base router. Slave is the one is at your extended router. Now you can uh, plug in an external DC power supply, uh, or you can use the PoE, power over Ethan. That's how I'm doing it. If you need to reset this thing to factory reset, there's a digital switch right here. Hit that reset button, hold it in uh, for a few seconds, and it will reset back to factory. Now, right here is the PoE connection. That's what I installed mine in because I use those PoE adapters to power the unit. I didn't want to have to run DC outside to these things. Of course, you can if you want, but PoE, power over Ethernet, is the way to go, and that's a thousand mbps that's pretty crazy uh, we also have a 100 m right there and that's your 100 mbps port i am not using that but again this thing is so easy plug and play going to briefly go over the the different configurations and we'll settle down on how i'm using it uh, first off there's the point to point uh, you can see you got your master bridge, you got a DVR, you got a computer, and you have your slave bridge. You got a switch in the field, and it's connected to a bunch of cameras. That is a very typical application for a wireless bridge like this, point to point. You got point to multi point. Now, you're going to need uh, extra receivers for that. Those slave bridges, need to order those extra from Adalov. You can do that. Uh, you can be up to a 60 degree angle off that master bridge antenna, and all of these will connect. Again, have an IP camera per slave bridge, connects back to your DVR, your switch, and your computer, and uh, record all those cameras you want to see. Now for video transmission and network extension. And network extension is what I'm doing, probably one of the most popular things, applications for this device. But uh, go over the video transmission. This is very similar to the other uh, applications. Uh, we're going to be using the PoE adapters on both sides, uh, having the master set to M, the slave set to S. You can see over here on the master side, it goes to a, a switch and then all your remote monitoring devices. On the slave side, using the PoE adapter to a camera, the camera will then transmit back to the master bridge and then to your remote devices. That's an easy video transmission. A lot of people will be doing that with their surveillance cameras. Now, 
network extension. You want to send that Wi-Fi across the bay. Look at that right there, guys. This is how you do it, just the way I'm doing it. The master setup, set to M. The slave setup, set to S. PoE adapters on both sides. I've got my base router in the cabin. And then I'm using the AT&T fixed wireless. That's how I'm getting my internet to the house, to the cabin. And it's going to set it up, send it over through the master, all the way across the field to the camper. The camper slave is going to, again, through the PoE, set it to my little Wi-Fi extender. I'm not using a full router. It's using the Wi-Fi extender. You saw me set up earlier. And now I have got full internet capability. Some more specs some of you be interested in. How well would this thing handle up in the weather? It is IP65 weather resistance ready for any weather. You got rain, you got snow, you got heavy sun. We're good from minus 30C to 55, 55C, and you can store this sucker from minus 40 to 70C. That's, a, that's some pretty extreme temperature ranges. If you're going to be operating it in humid conditions, that's 10% to 90% non-condensing, and uh, of course storing it 5 to 95% non-condensing. Very resilient piece of equipment. A lot of you are asking, what's in the box? Everyone always likes to see the unboxing. I didn't quite do an unboxing this time, got it all set up for you. But let's go over what's in the box. You've got two CPE 360 wireless bridges. You've got two PoE adapters, two metal cable ties. That's those big hose clamps. Two little white network cables, one user manual, and one great customer service guarantee. That's some pretty impressive tech specs, I must say. Can you imagine going that far point to point? All your cameras in the field or your, uh, again, the, the mother-in-law suite, lots of internet capability. She can watch her Netflix and her Prime and her YouTube. Watch a little bit of Ridge Life, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, guys, now let's go outside and I'm going to tell you something a little interesting. Not sure you can tell, but I look a little bit different than I did at the beginning of this video. That's because I started this install in the spring. And guys, it is fall now. We've been putting this unit to the test for six months. The only issue I've had so far was my doing. The cable I ran uh, from the house antenna up to the router, I nicked. And uh, about a month or so after I started using it, I started having issues. I contacted the uh, Adelov and they were like, give me, you know, going through the troubleshooting. And it was all on my side. Their, their unit was working very, very easy. The reset, uh, factory reset was easy. And then the, the, the customer service was great. Problem was my side. Had to run a new cable and it is working perfectly. Again, six months now, the Adelov 360 is doing an amazing job. It can reach out miles give you the, the internet capability you need, the Wi-Fi for your remote uh, cameras or uh, uh, workstation, remote uh, mother-in-law suite, whatever you've got, shop out in the field. It's going to do the job for you. It's fairly economical too. Get it off Amazon. I'll have a link down below. You can get it yourself. Click on that. I sure appreciate it. It uh, doesn't cost you any extra. I do get a little compensation for uh, sending you their way. I do appreciate that to Adelov. And guys, so I hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe to Ridge Life's Reviews and How-Tos. Hit that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out on my channel. So guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and stay on the internet and go Ridge Life.